Hello music lovers and conversationalists, welcome to the channel. Today I thought I'd take a few minutes to answer the challenge put together by Steve Schnee uh, a couple of weeks ago. I think it was like 12, 13, maybe 14 days ago. He issued a challenge to everybody um, asking us to show the holy trinity of an artist or band that has five or more studio albums and what are the three consecutive ones that you think are the... Um, holy trinity of their discography and um after thinking about it for a couple of days uh maybe a few more days than that um i decided uh, i wouldn't have any trouble putting three studio albums together that are consecutive but um it was trying to decide who i wanted to uh showcase in this video and i decided to go with walter trout for those of you who are not too familiar with Walter Trout or don't know any of his work, um, he is one of the most legendary and inspiring um, voices in the blues and blues rock scene. He's been in such great bands as uh, the uh, Blues Breakers with John Mayall. Um, John Mayall and the Blues Breakers, I should say, he's... Um, also been in other bands such as Canned Heat, and he's had a successful solo career, and recently just released um, his 30th album, I believe it was, which is called Ride, and um, real quick, I think I have it somewhere handy, this came out last year, and this is just a phenomenal um, display of Walter Trout's um, musical skills and his songwriting skills but um we're in a, not here to really talk about that and um i'll probably do another video where i'll review it but um i have here the holy trinity of walter trout's uh discography and the first one is called um this came out in um 2017 and it is called we're all in this together and he has a star-studded lineup here of fantastic musicians um <clears throat> some of the um artists on here are the legendary john mayall jo joe bonamassa kenny wayne shepherd eric gales and mike zito to name a few and um this album here is um just one of the best albums that he's put out and um i couldn't leave it off the list when i was doing the holy trinity um this lineup is just like the all-stars of all blues artists in the last uh half century if you will <clears throat> and um the songs that i think are the takeaway on here for me are um the first one is with uh, Mike Zito, and this one is called She Listens to the Bl uh, Bird Sing. And on this song, um, it's got a Almond Brothers type feel, Tom Petty kind of vibe going on. And it's an upbeat rocker, and uh, I think you'll all like that particular song. The um, next one on here is um, a little more on the gritty side of the blues, and it is called blues for jimmy t and it is uh features john mail on this song and it's a um tribute song to one of their um <clears throat> fallen bandmates and friends over the years and it's just a really well done song between the two of them and um finally the third song on here that i really liked was um one called um where is it here i just saw it somebody somebody going down this is with eric gales and um i had the privilege of seeing the two of them play together um a couple of years before the pandemic and they just lit up the uh stage when they um what they did is uh gales came out and played first and then Walter Trout came back, came on stage second, and then uh, Gales came back on stage, and um, 
they really just tore the roof off this little building and uh, had several um, ovations. And um, on this particular song, uh, Somebody Going Down, they really captured um, something special there. And it's such a phenomenal song and um, done by two uh, well-respected musicians in the blues world. The next Walter Trout album is, <clears throat> again, uh, this is a 2019 release, and it is um, Survivor Blues. And this is, I would say it's more of a tribute album, um, where he uh, plays a bunch of um, classic blues, if you will. And here is the... Uh, Track listing here. Um, a couple of the uh, takeaway tracks on here. Uh, first, I want to tell you a little bit about the album uh, before I get into the takeaway tracks. This album was recorded in Robbie Krieger's personal studio in uh, LA. And um, the first song that really stood out to me is one that um, Trout and Robbie Krieger worked on together and um, they just really had a good um, vibe going on and the song was called Going Down to the River and um, this one is um, like I said it just really showcases the two's the two's uh, excellent guitar skills and um you could tell they had fun recording the song together and um it was definitely one that's um i think worth a couple of replays the next song on here is another soulful one and it is a uh jimmy dawkins tune called me my guitar and the blues and um this one is just a moving piece and you can really hear walter um expressing himself through the guitar and uh it's just a great song that kicks off the album. And um, again, it's just one of the best on here that Walter does. And um, the third song off of this particular album that I really liked is um, Being a Hound Dog Taylor fan is um, Sadie. And this is just a classic straight up blues tune. And uh, Trout really does a great tribute to Hound Dog Taylor and picking this tune and um, he really just hit a home run with this and um, I think Hound Dog Taylor would be proud of him for covering that. So Survivor Blues is number two in the Holy Trinity and last but not least <clears throat> the most current uh, the second most current album that he has is Ordinary Madness this came out in 2020, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see him in that tour because it, there was no tour because of the pandemic and whatnot, but um, I'm looking forward to seeing him again soon, and I'm sure he'll be playing a lot from Ride, which, again, I said is a fantastic listen, listening to, and um, the three tunes off of this um, album... Are, um, that really stood out to me is the title track, which is Ordinary Madness. And uh, let's see what I have for my notes here. Um, the best way I can describe it is um, it has a bit of a Mark Knopfler influence to, to it. And um, it's very hypnotic in uh, the melody, but... Um, it's just um, a killer of a um, of an opening track for an album, and um, the keyboardist on this track is just um, out of this world. His name is uh, let me see if I can get it right. Teddy Zigzag Andrade uh, Andriatis, and um, he is just stellar on the keys. So this real quick is a double uh, uh, gatefold, double LP on limited red vinyl. Show you the 
red vinyl real quick. It's pretty cool. Cherry red. And, um... There you have it, folks. Those are the three Holy Trinity albums for um, my challenge for Stephen Schnee's Holy Trinity uh, challenge. And um, I picked Walter Trout. And before I sign off, I have the t-shirt that came along with the um, Ordinary Madness uh, double LP. So I thought it would be appropriate to wear that. So... Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.